welcome back my dear students today i am going to discuss with you people some important terms which are used in genetics these terms are so much important that without having a knowledge of these terms you may not be able to understand the concepts of inheritance the first important term is character character simply means any feature of an organism which is produced as a result of gene expression example eye color plant height okay when a gene expresses it leads to a particular character it is ultimately the function of genes that we have different characters second important term is trait simply the different forms of a character they constitute traits for example in pea plant the plant height has two traits one is tallness and another one is dwarfness trait is also known as character state jo humne kaha plant height pea plant mein okay height it is a character and this height has two traits one is tallness or uh, and another one is dwarfness okay this tallness and dwarfness they are also known as different character states you have two character states for height in case of pea plant isi tarah hamara eye color it is also a character okay and this eye color has three different character states blue green and brown here you can see blue this is one character state or trait another character state and this is the third character state for the eye color <clears throat> now one more important term is gene gene simply means a segment of dna that regulates the expression of a particular character any fragment of dna that is expressible that expresses a protein and leads to a particular feature that is known as gene now allele or allelomorph alleles are different forms of a gene these alleles occupy the same position in homologous chromosomes the alleles control the different traits of a character let's make it more clear here uh say for example we have the gene t and gene t okay they occupy the same locus on homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes means those chromosomes which are present in the same cell and they are identical one has come came from the father another one has came from mother okay these two genes they occupy the same position they occupy the same locus on these two chromosomes homologous chromosomes one is represented by capital t another one is represented by small t okay this capital t this capital t gene <coughs> it leads to tallness and this small t gene it leads to dwarfness okay thus you can say that these are the contrasting forms of the same gene these are the two different forms of the same gene so you can simply say two different forms the different forms of the same gene they are known as alleles okay now the types of alleles there are two types of alleles one is dominant and second one is recessive the dominant alleles are uh, represented by the upper case letter here you can see t okay and the recessive alleles are represented by small case letter dominant allele hum us allele ko bolte hain which is able to express when it is present in uh, uh, present with some other allele okay here this t allele it is able to express its tallness when it is present with this small t allele okay and recessive allele is that allele which is not able to express itself when it is present with some other allele here this t it is not able to express when it is present with this capital t allele okay uh let's make it more clear by looking at this image you have two homologous chromosomes here one has came from father another one is uh, maternal okay uh you have allele a here allele a here that means they are present on the same locus 
these two genes which control the same character but one leads to uh, one character state another one leads to another character state this is known as uh, they are known as alleles or allelomorphs they are the different forms of the same gene although they lead to the same character but one leads to one character state another one leads to another character state then another important term is genotype genotype is defined as the allele combination of an individual for a particular trait for example tt tt uh, or this small tt okay this is the allele combination of an individual for a particular trait hamare hamare paas yahan hai t and t okay that means on the homologous chromosomes you have allele t present on this chromosome and allele t present on this chromosome okay or the condition may be you may be having capital t small t or this may be small t small t okay now the genotype can be homozygous or heterozygous homozygous means uh, an individual possesses two alleles two identical alleles for a trait jaise maine aapko pehle bhi bola tt it means homozygous when both the alleles of a pair they are identical this is known as homozygous here this is known as homozygous dominant because both are dominant okay and this small tt it is known as homozygous recessive this is known as homozygous recessive this is known as homozygous dominant then another condition is heterozygous okay heterozygous condition means an individual possesses two dissimilar alleles for a trait here cap example is t and t okay one chromosome contains capital allele capital t allele and another chromosome contains small t allele this is known as heterozygous condition now what is phenotype phenotype is defined as the external appearance of an individual for a trait whether an individual is tall whether an individual is dwarf whether an individual's eye color is blue or it is green or it is brown this is known as phenotype of the individual okay the external appearance of an organism the external appearance of an individual this is known as phenotype here you can see what is uh, genotype and phenotype uh, genotype means the allele combination of an individual for a trait for a character here bb okay it is homozygous dominant because both are dominant you contain alleles b and b on both chromosomes okay and this is phenotype this is what will be the color of the flower then this is also the possibility bb homozygous recessive okay both the alleles are recessive that means you have two chromosomes and one contains b another one contains b both are recessive and this will be the color of the flower flower will be white okay and this one it is bb this is known as heterozygous condition in heterozygous condition the color of the flower will be purple as it is here because this capital b gene it is dominant over small b gene small b gene will not allow uh the color of the flower to appear but this capital gene since it is dominant it allows the formation of the color uh, color and the flower appears purple color okay uh, this is something about genotype and phenotype uh, i think we are done with all the terms that you will need to understand the principles of inheritance so thank you and stay blessed